Everything is not right, Pastor. In short, nothing is right. There is fire on the mountain. <laughs> fire on the mountain? Which mountain? What do you mean? What is it? This is more than fire, Pastor. There is something that has been bothering me, that's been eating me up. It seems to me as though all the members of the church have turned to hypocrites. Hypocrites? Yes, Pastor. <laughs> What are you talking about? What do you mean? They have become hypocrites because their character in the church and outside the church, they don't correlate. They act as if they are born against the church, but out there, they are exactly like the devil. They are camellios. I saw Sister Rebecca. Sister Rebecca that takes the, the, the prayers, the, the worships, the girl with a nice voice. I saw her beside the road with a guy, our own sister. That is not all. No. Hey, I don't tire for this church. Hey, Pastor, I saw our elder, one of the elders in the church, standing in front of a bar with a lady with a drink in his hand. Come and see our young brother, Mr. Daniel, the drummer. I saw him with the, with the click of, the, of his friends, smoking, smoking for Pastor. Pastor, are you just watching me? After all these things I've said, you are just watching me. Sister Ruth, <laughs> see, I heard you very well. And I understand everything you have said. Uh, but let me ask you a question, Sister Ruth. Please ask, Pastor. Sister Ruth. Yes, Pastor. If I give you a glass of water, filled to the brain, and I ask you to take it round this church, without any part of the water dropping or pouring off or spilling out. Do you think you can do that? Is that actually possible? If you give me a glass of, yes, water, a glass of water filled to the brick to carry around the church. Without yes, any part pastor. of it? Yes, Pastor. I can do it. I can carry a glass of water filled to the brim round the church without a drop coming off. All right then, we do not have water here. Let's let's experiment and see. Sister Ruth, <laughs> it's well, it's well. Okay. Considering that you know, the church is, is large and then you have to go around such a distance without even a drop falling out of the cup. How did you do it? Pastor, I was very careful and focused, knowing fully whether the water is not supposed to pour. Mm. Mm. You see, Sister Ruth, that's exactly how you must be focused and careful so that you don't get distracted by the things and the happenings within the church and in the world. You know, the Bible says, work out your own salvation. Remember the word, your salvation, your, not general salvation. It is individual. Your salvation with fear and training. I want you to also understand that this salvation we're talking about is personal, it's individualistic. There is no such thing as collective salvation, congregational salvation, or family salvation. It is individual. Do you understand? So it means that it is you and God. It is you and God always. So you don't have to focus on what others are doing. Because you see, some of these people you, you are saying, 
some of the people you have talked about now may have the desire to do right. But if the ability to do it may be absent, the only thing we can do is to intercede earnestly for such people. When we see such things happen, we intercede for them, trusting God that someday they will change. Yet, we must also know that it is impossible to play hypocrisy with God. We can do that with man. He sees the intent of the heart, so he understands everything. So don't worry about that. Just intercede for them and not for them. Sister Alice, you have no right, you are not permitted to condemn any man, anyone, until you get to heaven. You don't find them. Do you understand? Let's go.